Fulham have made another signing. So they have been spending money like it's going... Well, not spending money like going out of fashion, but they have signed some really, really good quality players. And another one has joined the ranks this time... England, inter former England international, he has been capped for a long time. Callum Chambers has joined Fulham on a season-long loan. So, Callum Chambers, despite seeming to be around for a lifetime, is still just 23 years old. So, he joins the signings already made. Um, so, Lamarckland, um, John michel Seri, Fabrico, Alexandra Mitrovic, Alfie Mawson and Andre Shirley. So... Where does Callum Chambers fit in here? So he's obviously can play centre back and right back, and they did lose Ryan Frederick, so maybe that's the plan. I, I don't think he's that good at right back. I, I really don't. But he's had a season out on loan at Middlesbrough, and then he was a bit part player at Arsenal. He's been capped three times by England. All of those came in 2014. He won the Toulon tournament in 2000 and 16 with England under 21s where he has featured a massive 22 times um he was highly really highly rated really highly rated and then he seemed to fall off the edge of a cliff a little bit um and it's it, it's it, it's really really sad so he sort of broke in at around 17 at Southampton had a really, really, really impressive season with Southampton. And then he joined Arsenal for around £16 million. Um, and since then, his first season he was played 23 times. But since then, he's only played 12 times for Arsenal in both of the seasons he was there. So he's not really had much football. Uh, there probably is a player there he just needs to come out and maybe Jokanovic is the man to do that maybe he's the guy that can get the best out of him because it he you know, needs to be playing regularly now he's 23 he's 24 in January now's the time where he needs to start playing regularly he's never really been given the chance at Arsenal and that will continue to probably happen this time. So a season out on loan uh, with a club like Fulham will be absolutely brilliant for Callum Chambers. Hopefully he gets the first team football he needs because that's what he needs now. He needs first team football. He doesn't need he doesn't need to be on the bench again. Or there's no point going out on loan to Fulham, is there? Might as well stay at Arsenal. Uh, so he he needs first team football now, and that is exactly what he should be getting. There, you know, he was so highly rated. He was nominated for all sorts of awards when he was younger, but it's just not happened for him in recent times. I really hope that he can, you know, get that, you know, first team football with this club. Um, they are, you know, a very, very, very good club. They play lovely football, and that should suit Callum Chambers being uh, at, at Southampton in 2013-14. Uh, when they were managed by Maurizio Pochettino and then going to um, Arsenal managed by Arsene Wenger. Both managers like to play lovely football and that is something that will continue uh, with his time at Fulham. Kanovic plays absolutely brilliant football and it's always worth watching. I'm looking forward to watching Fulham, I'm looking forward to watching Wolves, not looking forward to watching Cardiff. Uh, but those two play really, really nice football, and that is something that can be expected again. So I think now it's it's mainly about first team football for him. If it doesn't work out here, he's gonna be in you know, purgatory a little bit because if it doesn't work out here, he might have to drop down even lower to maybe a championship side and then he's just really fallen off the edge of a cliff this needs to work out he needs to get his first team football this time there's no doubt about it in my mind he needs to get first team football he needs to um to get first team football but he signed a new deal with arsenal in uh july la last summer and um, this summer sorry last month and you know whether that that clearly states that maybe Emery has him in his mind, has his plans, and you know maybe that is something. Hopefully, he has a you know good first team 
uh, experience with Fulham and then he could come back to Arsenal and do really well. Um, but yeah, that seems the plan to get him some really good experience and then see where he is then. Um, they've obviously signed a couple of defenders. Uh, they signed uh, Licksteiner, they've signed um, Socrates. So they've signed a couple of defenders. So that means um, you know his chances are limited. Fulham, they've signed one uh, defender in uh, Le Marchand who can play left back and centre back. Um, but they have lost, like I say, Ryan Frederick. So maybe the plan is for him to maybe slot in there. Um, like I say, I think it's best as a centre back. And you have a, a Doy, a Tim Ream. So that, you know, he'd he'd be good competition for them. I think this is a really good move for Callum Chambers. You know, as I say, first team football is so important, and hopefully that's what he gets. Anyway. Uh, that's pretty much it. So thanks so much for watching this video. Another Fulham signing. Uh, they've been really impressive over the summer, and they continue to do that. So thanks so much for watching this video. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. My name is Mike, and I will see you soon.